Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Metal Horror Gamer, and I feel obligated to do this video because this mod has given me so much grief over the few months I could not get it to work right to where I gave up and I barely came back to it. And I finally figured out how to get it done correctly. Now, if you're like me, then you have an AMD graphics card, and if you have that, then you know Sick Mod does, just refuses to work correctly with it for Doom 3 and Quake 4. And I finally figured out how, how to get it all working correctly. And I'm going to show you step by step. So pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through every step and show you on here. You know, on here, I will show you how, how to get it done. Now, this if you do this for one of them, it works for both of them. Okay, if, When I do this for Doom, it worked for Quake also because I got both of them to work now. And... I, I know what's the problem, so let's just, let's just get started already. Now, first, first things first, we need to go to the control panel. You come here, and you need to go to folder options. When you go here, go to the view tab, and then click this show hidden files, folders, and drivers. That's the first thing you gotta do. Once you do that, hit apply, and then okay. Now, go to your C drive, which is right here. And go to users, and you're gonna to want to go to your one. It's gonna, most likely it's, it's the name of your computer. If mine is this, so I come here, go to app data, then go to local, and then you're gonna to need to find uh, oh there you go, ATI, and then click Ace. And then you have to go to profiles. Now what this does, you're gonna to have to go down to you see this here. Wait, this right here. This this will say enable, so you need to put disable here and make sure you add this slash here because this slash is not there. So add that slash, you know, put disable between the quotation marks, and save it. All right, and then you can back out of that. But before you do anything, right click on this on the on the profiles, go to properties, and click read only, so that way it does not change, because it will change in you back and forth if you don't do that. So next. I need you to go to this, type in run, and you click it, click on the run button, and I need you to put that in there, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, you can put that in there, press OK, and get that, press yes. Now what you're going to want to do here, you're going to have to go to edit, go to find, and you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna want to write Catalyst AI. So. C A T A L Y S T A I. Whoops. A I. Now the first see mine did it real quick, but the first time you do it, it may take like a like a minute or so. Just let it do its thing. And then as you can see right here, it says 30. That's because I changed it. That's what you're gonna change it to. You're gonna come here, go to modify, and see right here that what says 30. It either say 31 or 32. Just change it into 30, okay? And then press OK. And then here is the same thing. You, Catalyst AI DEF, go to modify it. it. It should say one. Change it to a zero, and then press OK. And then now you can you can back out of there. Now next, I want you to go where you, where to, where you have your Steam games at. Yours may be in your C drive, but I have another one. I have it in my D drive. So I go over here, Steam, Steam apps. Go to common. And then whatever one you're doing, Doom 3 or Quake, I'm going to show you Doom 3. So you go to Doom 3. What you want to do is see this? That's your main Doom 3 EXE file. What you want to do is you want to right click it and copy it. Copy it and then paste it into the folder. And it should say like Doom 3 copy. Now just change the name to 3. Okay? Now after you do that, you're going to want to go into Steam. And go to add game, add non Steam game, find the exe file that you labeled three. And you're gonna put that, you're gonna press add selected programs, it's gonna go in there. As you see, mine, I already have it labeled there. But once you do, like, most likely, most likely you have it like this. So when you go in there, where's it at? Uh, Doom, you're, you're gonna wanna go to properties. And see, I just renamed this thing Doom 3 Sick Mod. That way I know what it is. You know, you don't have to name it that, but to me it's just easier to keep up with it. So I did that. When you do that, everything's already set up here. 
And after that, what you want to do is go to set launch options and write this plus set fs underscore game space sigma. And you press OK. And then now when you reset your your computer, Doom 3 should be working the way it should be. You know, it should sick mod should work. Now when you go in, you may need to still mess with a few sick mod uh, options to get it the way you want it to look, but now it should be working. And it's the same thing with uh, for Quake 4. If you come here, you go Quake 4, see I have one that says 4 there. You do the same thing. Copy the EXE, I just labeled it 4, and you know, you do the exact same thing. You go here, you go to add game, add non Steam game, you browse your folders, you find it, and you put it in there. I see, as you see, I have it right here. Uh, here, Quake 4, Sick Mod, see, I, ch I changed it. Properties, Sick Mod, set launch options, and there you go. It's, just, it's, just, it's as simple as that. Now, I said you can also add a, a, your own custom custom image which I'm pretty sure you know about already and if you don't know just look it up online you can they'll tell you how to do it real quick say doom 3 quake 4 that's pretty much all it is and I swear once you do all those steps in that order I showed you now just go find another video about how to install the the correct mods into quake 4 and doom 3 and when you go to it like I said you may need to mess with a few, few settings in in game but other than that, it should be working now on your AMD cards. It was a struggle to get this to work. I've been spending months on it. And now I finally got it to work and I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> so I, I feel obligated to share with everyone else who has an AMD card who has had these problems. Because I haven't seen a video on someone who actually found a direct, a direct fix for this. So I hope this video has helped you. And well, this has been Metal Horror Gamer. And... I'll see you next time.